Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today we're going to talk about where are my Spark tokens from the XRP or Flare airdrop. This is a question that I keep getting from a lot of different people and it's actually one of the questions that I have myself. So I want to dig deep and uh, take a look at this, but make it very simplified. So first of all, I put uh, a lot of my XRP into uh, the Celsius wallet because it was the easiest for me. And uh, it actually shows in my Celsius wallet that I have 23,000 uh, worth of Spark token, which I had 20,000 worth of XRP. So great. So I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, it's already there, but that's not the case. The snapshot actually happened uh, about 12 hours ago or so. So this makes it very confusing because we look at Celsius it's like, oh, I already have the Spark tokens, but that's not the case. Really what's what's going on is that the snapshot was taken and you're not going to get the actual uh, Spark tokens from Flare uh, until Q1 or Q2 of 2021. So if you if you have Celsius or maybe another wallet where you, you take a look at it, you're like, oh, it's already here. It's not there. And I think they put that in there just so people would not bother them. <laughs> like, like, you know, where's my spark and this and that. So I think this is what they did, but I could be incorrect. So this is actually from uh, the Flare official website. I'll put that in the link in the description below, uh, flare.xyz. And what they state here is it's very simple, actually. And this is a nice little claim decision tree. I'll let you take a look at that, but I don't really care about that right now. What I care about is this part right here. Let me, so great, uh, nice and uh, big so everybody can see it. So distribution date, this is the big thing. The distribution date is when the Flare network goes live, and that's not going to happen until Q1 or Q2 2021, and some people talk about April, not somewhere around April 2021. So right now they took the snapshot, they have everything there, they're going to distribute it later. So even if you have something like this on Celsius or any other wallet, you may think you have it, but you don't have it, it's just a snapshot. And I'm actually making this video today because I actually put out a poll and I asked the same question, are all your Spark tokens showing in your wallet? And yes and no and airdrop what? And people still have the same question like, hold on, what? What, what? What's going on? I don't understand. So just so you know, that is exactly what's happening. And then to get into some details about this uh, airdrop, first of all, uh, there's going to be 100 billion Spark tokens created. And uh, that's a ton. And this is how it's actually going to be as, as far as like distributed and the claim eligibility. So Really what it comes down to is out of those 100 billion, uh, if a certain exchange doesn't didn't actually come forth and say, yeah, we're going to actually uh, be a part of that, that means that all the people that had the XRP on there, they would have been excluded and uh, you would have gotten more spark because all those XRP holders were like, well, you know, uh, they didn't really uh, go for it. So that's why I was kind of like, when Coinbase said it, I was like, man, eh, crap, that sucks because uh, that means that all the people on Coinbase will get it at some point. And I thought that uh, if they didn't do it, then there'd be more uh, spark for all of us. But hey, what are you gonna do? And then also, this is, these are the people that are excluded. They state other than Ripple Inc. and, and the uh, non-participating exchanges, there are a few groups that are completely excluded from distribution. One is Jed McCaleb. Oh, I'm sure everybody knows him in that little group. So he doesn't get squat. And then accounts that are known to have received XRP as all of fraud, theft, and scam. So that makes a lot of sense. So that's pretty good. And then also, uh, there's a thing called a whale cap. So if you have over 1 billion XRP, uh, you're capped out of that. So if you get like 1 like 2 billion, you're only going to get uh, 1 billion. However, I think they can. there's probably a way around that if you just have two wallets, but I'm not for sure. And then this is the big one, big one, what you will receive and when. So each account that has claimed Spark will receive 15% of the total Spark for which they are eligible. 15. This is 15% of the Spark claimable term in the equation above. You can take a look at this nice equation. Uh, it's got all this thing as far as Spark claimable, XRP owned, divided by, and blah, blah, blah. Great. The remaining Spark claimable we will be distributed over a minimum of 25 months and a max of 34 months. So you're looking at uh, really two to three years. So why do they do this? Well, it says it right here. It's all about weak hands. And what they don't want to have is people just get all these tokens all at once and then just dump them. So this is why they're going to drip everything out. So if you participate in the snapshot, congratulations, everything is done. Now it's just a waiting game and that's not going to happen until around April of next year. So hope that answers your question. So that's it. Just want to make this quick video just to uh, talk about these little uh, issues that were popping up and things that I've seen. So that is it for today. Thanks so much and I'll see you on the next one.